this bad behavior is new. I know that you're expecting a child, but she already has a little brother. Has anything changed at home recently? <sighs> Her grandpa died, but that can't be it. <laughs> Week before, two weeks now. I feel terrible for Brunetta for you. But it has not been easy. Excuse me. Why didn't you call us or, or send a note? Because it's none of your business? What the fuck? Did she go to the funeral? Why would we put her through that? I don't think children belong in graveyards. What? You didn't take her to the funeral? We can talk about this another time. No, I'm not as upset as I look. I, I can't help this. So, Mr. Draper, just you and me, huh? <laughs> there is a very special pain to losing someone at that age. I don't know if you can understand that. I can. Well, there you go. Let's bond over Grandpa's death. The amount of pencils, pens, pads, paper and postage that are currently being consumed suit a company four times our size. It has also been brought to my attention that a credenza has disappeared. Theft <laughs> that I believe necessitates a conspiracy. Excuse me? <laughs> conspiracy. Thought I'd bring you the minutes to the meeting since you had to run off. Don, I am afraid there's a conspiracy going on here. Mr. Draper? Yes? This is Suzanne Farrell. Sally's teacher. I knew I'm it. I'm not interrupting dinner, am I? I just felt I should call and apologize about our meeting this morning. Also looks like she drank some courage already. I don't know why I'm calling. I'm embarrassing myself. No, I know why you're calling. <laughs> it's time to go. Okay, we're going. Let me get my keys. They're in your hand. <laughs> the fuck? Daddy! You can scream and yell as much as you want in this hallway, but we're about to pass the nursery. What the fuck? Daddy faked his death? <laughs> to work as a janitor in the hospital. <laughs> this is not how I pictured it. Where's all the back slap? I brought this because I thought it'd be a party in here. It's not, but I'll have one. <laughs> Dr. Aldrich. He went to Mama Leone's for his anniversary. Isn't that sweet? Dr. Mandelowitz, the obstetrician, is on duty and will fill in. I don't want him. I don't know him. I want Dr. Aldrich. Dr. Aldrich is drunk as a skunk right now. You really sure you want him? <laughs> Where's Don? He's in the waiting room. Bullshit. It's never where you expect him to be. Have you seen him? Have you been with him? Seven centimeters. <laughs> I'm just glad her hair isn't perfect anymore. <laughs> your wife and your baby are doing fine. A baby? Boy. I'm sure yours is gonna be good too. You know what? I know it. Okay. Don's baby just died. The moment he said that. <laughs> Can't do it. Either you can do it or we will, but it's gonna come out some way. <laughs> I had to go away. Well, don't you miss me? Of course. Listen. Nobody knows I'm here, okay? <laughs> I knew it. He faked it. Am I dying? Ask your mother. Elizabeth. Shut your mouth. You'll catch flies. Hmm? Who's the black fellow? You're a house cat. You're very important and you have little to do. A very soprano-esque dream. <laughs> Oh. 
terrible. <laughs> you look beautiful, Bats. Oh, come on. His name is Eugene. We don't have to decide that now. I think it's decided. <laughs> Roger. Da da. <laughs> you know what it's like in that office. No one ever buys me lunch. <laughs> I like the turtleneck. What the fuck? Why are you meeting with Peggy? Does he want to recruit them or what? I want to take you both with me to the promised land. At Gray, of an course. account man is expected mm -hmm. to have ideas. They're not going anywhere. Well, she can. No. Do we have to go together? <laughs> I go wherever Pete's not going. Don't be a baby. You should be taking meetings like this twice a week. If you want to woo me, you'll have to buy me my own lunch. <laughs> I just want to know why you bought your TV. I don't even watch the damn thing. We've got bigger problems to worry about than TV, okay? You're thinking about this in a very narrow way. The idea is that everyone's going to have a house, a car, a television. The American dream. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking moron. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a girl. No, well, I thought you were going to be a boy. Not all surprises are bad. She's probably more of a boy than your boy. <laughs> Admiral television sales are flat. We know that. But as we studied your indices, we realized that they're not flat everywhere. Among Negroes, sales are actually growing. We know that, too. <laughs> Who's to say that Negroes aren't buying Admiral televisions because they think white people want them? <laughs> I've been thinking about my situation here. I'm paid very little. My secretary doesn't respect me because I make $71 more a week than she does. Maybe we need to get you a cheaper secretary. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I don't think I could have been any clearer. <laughs> you see what's been going on here the last six months? What if this is my time? The time of your life, you mean? I guess you're wasting it. <laughs> hey. Where are you going? To the ladies' room. You want to join me? <laughs> Admiral Television has no interest in becoming a colored television company. Are you aware of the number of hand jobs I'm going to have to give? Am I being taken off the account? I'm going to have to pretend I had you killed. We're done with the vlogging. Never as good as you think it's going to be. <laughs> It does seem as though there's money to be made in the Negro market. I don't think it would be wrong of us to pursue it. I can tell you that there's definitely something going on. We'll look into it. There's something going on of which none of you understands anything. Time to kill that baby, huh? <laughs> 